Welcome to Globe Manufacturing, informational video on the drag rescue device, commonly known as a DRD. Today we're going to walk you through the steps necessary to install and maintain your DRD. I'm your host, Kathy Freeman, Technical Services Manager for Globe Manufacturing Company. Helping me to demonstrate the best techniques will be Nick O'Bennett, a long-time Globe employee. Nick is not just an employee here at Globe, he also serves as a volunteer firefighter for the St. Ben Fire Department. As you know, the purpose of the DRD is to aid firefighters with the rescue and all firefighters by allowing them to drag the firefighters along the horizontal plane. It's very important to note that the DRD is not intended or designed to be used for vertical rescue, nor should it ever be used as a gate harness or for lifting or lowering people on the plane. Proper training is crucial for the successful use of the DRD. How to use this device can be used properly trained by your fire department. When you return from a call, you should repeat the DRD before cleaning either the cook or the DRD. Please see the documentation on the appropriate care and cleaning of the code before locking the system. To remove the DRD from the code, separate the liner from the shell and the sleeve cuffs and lock from the facing. Open the DRD flap and the tab on the upper half of the cooking shell. Remove the liner sleeve from the shell sleeves and then simply remove the DRD. If you determine that you need to clean the DRD, use a mild liquid detergent and we recommend hand washing. However, you may also use a plumbing washing machine as long as you put the DRD in a mesh garment bag. Be sure not to use chlorine bleach as this causes severe loss of pencil strength, which can lead to wetting on the DRD. Hang the DRD to air dry away from direct sunlight and fluorescent light, as these may also cause a loss of pencil strength that can be considered irritating. After the DRD is cleaned, inspect it thoroughly in accordance with inspection techniques outlined in NSK 8051. Be sure to keep the DRD with its original coat of matching the serial numbers on the coat label to the serial numbers on the DVD label. Before reinstalling the DRD into the coat, you should inspect it to ensure that it is still in operating condition. After each deployment, inspect the DRD for the faults and codes of damage, for hint or break of goods, loss of seam integrity or broken or missing stitches, cuts, tears, punctures, cracking, or splitting. Thermal damage, such as charring, burn holes, melting, separation, abatement, chemical deterioration. If your DRD is damaged in any way, remove it immediately with care or disposal. The service life of your DRD will vary based upon the use, the maintenance, and the hazards to which it may have been exposed. Your fire department has its own guidelines for the retirement and replacement of your DRD. It is important to destroy your tire DRD to prevent the unauthorized or mistaken use. Destroy your tire DRD by putting them into small pieces and disposing of them appropriately. After the code and the DRD have been properly cleaned and inspected, you must reinstall the DRD into the code. To do this, be sure the liner is separated from the shell and the sleeve cuts. Lay the coat on the flat surface with the exterior side down and the inner coat line facing you. Lay the DRD beside the coat, ensuring that the strap is not twisted. Check to be sure the serial number on the DRD matches the serial number on the label of the coat. Be sure that the liner sleeves are pulled out of the coat after the shell sleeve. Flip the liner over the top of the shell, exposing the inner surface of the shell. Place the DRD on the shell with the handle at the top, with the label of the DRD facing you to the left. Spread the upper portion of the DRD to the outside of the shell sleeves. Remove any unnecessary twisting of the DRD strap beginning at the handle end. Place the handle approximately 2 to 3 inches through the slit opening towards the outside of the cooking shell. Pass the liner sleeves through the loops made by the DRD straps. Reinsert the liner sleeves into the shell sleeves. Be sure that the liner sleeves are not twisted. Once again, check for any unnecessary twisting of the DRD straps before pulling the rest of the liners back 